Okay, I took some of her papers and I put them together to make a small signature here and just like how we did our little mini travel journal last month, I am not measuring anything. I'm doing the three hole uh, pamphlet stitch and I'm just eyeballing it and I'm going to go back up a hole I started in, maybe, there we go, whoops or close to it. There's a lot of stuff on here, so I won't get it exactly, but that's okay. I'm going to make sure one end is on each side of that center string, and then we are going to just tie it off. I got out my big book binding needle and some of my um, thicker book binding thread to do this with. Tie it in three knots there cut it off, there we go, that is cute, and then I we're going to put this back here, and I actually think that we're going to, initially I was thinking that we would just glue it in, um, we may still do that, I have another idea that's floating around in my head, but while we're thinking about that, we're going to um, look at this, and we are going to tuck some of these things of hers in the pockets, these things that were special to her, enough to save at least. She had this piece of fabric here that says linen laid on the casket containing the head of blessed Martin de Porres O.P. So I don't know who he was, but somebody special and I think we're going to just glue it right into the cover. have this piece of this postcard that's been floating around since she passed away that has the Virgin Mary on one side and my great-grandfather's name on the other side. Maybe we might use, let's see how far we get with this. Oops. See, I already put lumpy stuff on the cover, so I have to be careful. We do still have our stamp that we used on the other part. I think we're going to use it here too. It won't come out perfect, but I'm okay with that. We're just kind of distressing things a bit more. Not that they aren't plenty distressed already, because they are. Okay. I like that so far. I think I'm going to just glue this whole thing in here, all these hooks and eyes. This book is not going to close, and I don't really want it to close. I want it to be fat and chunky. If you want it to close, then you probably want to make one that's bigger. If you're going to put really lumpy things in it like I'm doing. Here's another little religious thing in Italian with a wax seal on it and a little bit piece of fabric. I don't know what it is, but because I don't read Italian, but we're going to tuck it in a pocket. And I used the stickers again that we made from our vintage papers to close up the edges of this crochet pamphlet so that we could have a pocket. We also have this, the miraculous metal with the metal. I don't know. So we're going to put that here on the other side if it fits. Yep. Well, it kind of sticks out too high, so maybe not. Maybe we'll put this other one that has my grandfather's name on it. Nope, it doesn't fit either. Oh, wait, here's one. I have some pictures of my grandmother and more than the one that we used and the family. Let's see. 
So let's cut out some pictures. I like this one of her when she was young. And this is her and her three sisters. I'm sorry, two sisters. Because I don't know how to count today. <laughs> so let's cut these out. Try to put on maybe uh, music that reminds you of them in the background while you're doing this, while you're creating this. And, um, you know, have them in the back of your mind. Thinking about them, remembering them with fondness. And you probably can't see that that's doing anything on camera. It's really just taking the white edge off of the photos which is what I want. I'm going to use tape runner on these. Oops. Without my hair. <laughs> okay, let's, we have this other photo. Let's maybe put it there. I'm just looking and reviewing and seeing if that's what I like. I think I might want to put this one here. Well, it has a prayer on the back, so I have a lot of those. This is my box of papers, and probably half the box is from my grandmother. This one that will work. There's a lot of these, I'm telling you, she had, uh, I don't think she ever threw any of them out. We're going to put away some of the ones I know I'm not using. You know, she loved to cook, so it would be wholly appropriate to use some of this um, vintage um, recipe paper. This is a recipe for soap, which is interesting. So let's use a piece of that. I don't know that she ever made homemade soap, but it's an interesting recipe nonetheless. Let's see. Oops. It's okay, we'll make it work. It's really old vintage paper, so it's going to be very fragile. So you want to be careful with it. I'm going to stick this piece somewhere also. There's 
somewhere. Okay, I have this piece of fabric I'd like to use up. So I do think we want to, I want to put this in here before I go any farther. I want to put this in here. Now, do I want to put it in elastic so the whole thing can come out? Or do I want to just glue it down? That would be the question. I could put it on. With that. I want to put this there. That I do know. So let's get that on there. I want that crazy edge sticking out. And then I do think I want to just put this on here. I want to just lay it on. So we're going to glue the back of the little envelope only. God, I had this little this big piece of paper. I do think I want to stick this in here. I think I want to just staple it in. No staples. Um no, you know what? We're gonna glue it in. A couple of reasons. One of being I don't want to go get up and go get this staple and turn the camera on and off again. I'm being lazy today. Again, be careful with this old paper because it's pretty fragile. Okay. Oh, I love that. Look how chunky that is. Isn't that just delicious? You know, I just love it. I love it. I love that. Huh. All right, do we want to see? anything else on here like maybe I was thinking I don't know that I do though let's see what do we have in here Lots of stuff. I've got a safety pin. I want to use stuff out of her box. Oh, there's something interesting. Okay, so here's something interesting. It is a string of ball chain with three medallions on it. Okay, so I think we're gonna use that. I have some sort of, I don't know what this is. It has like a, a screw nut on the back. Is. 
Oops, where are we? It's not focusing. Oops. So, I don't know what that is. I can't, I don't have my reading glasses on. I don't know, but we're gonna stick it on here. I'm gonna stick it up here. this thing. I love that. All right, we're gonna clean up. I'm gonna get some close-up shots for you all and show you what I did exactly. But how cool is that? How wonderful is that piece? I love it. All right, I'll be right back. What a yummy, delicious way this is to celebrate your loved ones and remember them if they've passed. How I love this. I love the way it turned out. So I will open it for you and do a flip. This is the cover. I've got different things from my grandmother's collection that I have here and things that I've made on the cover. The watermelon to remind me of my grandfather. I don't even know what that is, but it looks good there. Inside the cover. And then, like with the other little book, I put some words on here that reminded me of her. I put this other little small, this has a medallion inside of it. And the pockets all have some of her things in it. Pictures of her and her sisters. This is her when she was young. Just fabulous bits and pieces to remind me of her. And then in the back, we have this little book within a book. 
that is a further reminders of her and my grandfather. So I love the way this turned out. I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do. If you don't have bits and pieces and parts that you can do something like this with, you can collect them from antique shops, eBay, you can buy lots of old paper. Ask your family and friends if they have some things that you could have. I'm sure there's something around somewhere that you could do something like this with. You could also, of course, take new things and distress them and make them look old. I, but I hope it gives you some idea of what you can do with all those random bits you've collected, whether, whether they belong to loved ones or not. Maybe you do this with your pet in mind, your furry family members, your furry loved ones. And if you have a chain or charms on the front, maybe it's their, do their dog tags or their cat tags, their pet tags. Um, and maybe it closes with their their collar uh, something like that in fact it gives me an idea I've got to go look up my old dog collars out in the garage for my dogs that I've passed um, but anyway I love the way it turned out I'll be taking some close-up shots and I will be sharing them in the my year 2017 Facebook group which is what this was created for for July and I hope it gives you some in the group ideas of what you can do if you're not part of the group but you would like to be uh, or my other faith group, group, maybe you would like to shop in my Etsy shop or support my channel by giving to my tip jar, send me happy mail, all of that stuff is in the video description. And that's it for today. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later. Bye guys.